But I'm joined by Mark White after today's 1-0 home victory over Gateshead. Mark, first home win of 2024. How good does that feel? Delighted. Yeah, delighted. I think um, we deserved... I don't think we're lucky today. I really don't. I think 11 v 11, we were shading the game. I think we had a really good start. I think our shape was good. What we've worked on was good. I just want to reiterate, we only trained this week for one day. Um, and obviously that was a Thursday, so you can't really do a lot on a Thursday. That uh, cancelled trip against York made today more difficult for us. Um, yeah, 11 v 11. Um, I thought we were shading, shading it. Um, I think the sending off when we watch it back is going to be harsh. Uh, we need to watch it back, but I think it might be harsh. I think Tony later on in the game is a little bit lucky um, to stay on the pitch. Um, but Dates said a, a, a great side, well coached. The, the key part of the game for me was um, when they went down to 10 men and we obviously really dominated up until the half and we didn't get that second goal. So then second half uh, Rob their managers adjusted it um, got behind the ball they wanted to put balls in in better areas be more direct which is unlike them but caused trouble they competed all over the pitch they won a lot of fouls I thought the refs had a good game but I think there was definitely a lot of soft fouls going on I yeah. think if I'm honest with you I think the ref had a good game for us across the 90 um, so yeah, I appreciate the father-in-law not going against me. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, but then the second half became an exact um, example of what you're going to get when one team's not won a game, been out of form and not got over the finish line and the other team is near the playoffs and a bit more carefree. So I think today, if, if, if we're mid-table in the playoffs, I mean, just to be really clear, if we were mid-table... I don't take off Tony Craig on a yellow. I don't take off Nard on a yellow. I'm doing it because I know what the league table looks like and my job is to make, you know, ballsy, good decisions. Um, and I weren't going to let that ref level it up. Uh, he was more than happy to give a decision. Yeah. Um, so I think we're mid-table. We don't make two subs that we didn't want to do. I also think we probably go away 11 v 10 and win the game. But when you're not mid-table and you're looking down and you know that you could be in a relegation zone end of the evening, you, make this, you have to make them brutal decisions that, that work for you. So I think at the end of it, it was a game whereby I was impressed with Gateshead with 10 men. They made it difficult for us. They'd done everything they could do. They didn't really get a lot of shots off, I'll say that. And we had chances during that game to win it. I think Pryor's goal from Tom Blair's cross in the first half, I don't think it's offside. We'll have to see that back. Uh, Rutherford should score. Yeah. 20 minutes to go. Jimmy should score last two minutes. So we've had chances during that game. I thought we, we, I thought we created even 11 v 11. We were creating the better chances. Yeah, I, I thought, you know, coming into this game, it was, it was always two teams that play, you know, I think they played pretty much the exact same system, three at the back and tr five across the middle or two up front, trying not the ball around. And it was really interesting. You know, both teams were playing very... A direct at times but on the floor you know game forward quickly and of course the red card kind of changed the game edged it towards Dawkins favour a little bit but were you a bit disappointed in the second half that you weren't able to you know put Gateshead to the sword yeah definitely but I mean the game got really broken up Tom and the um, the ref was given a lot of fouls um, a lot of fouls um, against us um, whether I'd probably argue that maybe Gateshead were a little bit sharper working a bit harder and then of course when you're doing that you tend to win more fouls because you, you, you know your counterparts a bit slower to the ball yeah. and then they were just the game was broken up they put us putting us under a little bit of pressure I thought we dealt with it really well especially making two changes that we didn't want to make just the longer the game went on the more that there was something there for them and the more that we might have thought oh dearie me here we go so listen it's three points I'm over the moon with that we have been we've been on the end this year of some really really bad officiating um, and when we've watched it back, we've, it's cost us up to sort of nine, nine, ten points now. Um, I think today we might, you know, they say it levels out a bit. We might argue it levelled out a little bit today if we're being fair. But like I said, 11 v 11, I thought we were shading it. I thought the setup was good. And ultimately we just needed to win. And that is for all of those incredibly loyal fans, dedicate that to all of those fans. McShane was on the bank with his mates. Listen, we 
this is a tough league. Tough league. Um, outsiders looking in think, oh, National League, you know, Dorking are there now. Um, we're part-time. We train once a week if we're playing on a Tuesday. Every other team is uber professional. And we are, in, in that respect, the underdogs. Um, that's where we are. That doesn't mean our expectations aren't high. That doesn't mean if we'd have had a fit team this season, we'd be doing a lot better. That doesn't mean we've given away a lot of points this year in, in, in unlucky circumstances. But we are still in a position where we've got to find a way to consolidate a more professional looking team at this level. I'm not happy where the team is. I've started to talk to the individuals about my expectations from them um, in terms of consistency. I can't afford players that are good for one game out of three or make the same mistakes in games. We need to now move away from that now and that's where I'm at with the players. So, listen, over the moon, mate. Thanks to the, look, Massive thanks to all the supporters. Rob Harrison, who's come over here from the USA just to watch us play today <laughs> as well. Um, and, um, you know, John Bynes and Ivor that have come down from Wimbledon today uh, to, to, to follow us as well and all the boys I've seen. But most of all, them boys that went to Macclesfield stood in the pissing rain. So we've got three points for you. Um, can we go to and make a bit of noise Tuesday night? You know, because it's a funny old game football and wins breed confidence. And two or three wins change the landscape. So that's what we're looking for. Yeah, obviously looking, at, looking ahead of next week, two games next week, both away, away at Dagenham on Tuesday and then away at Boreham Wood on the Saturday. But even just looking at the league table after today's victory, basically played our game in hand today with all the postponements elsewhere. Up to 16th in the table, three points outside, from three points behind South End in 10th. Oh, sorry, 12th even. Then only eight points from Gateshead in 8th. So it's all very tight, as you said. Teams can beat anyone week in, week out. Yeah, yeah winning sequences in this league go a long, long way. Um, we saw that last year. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just great, great to get a win, take a bit of pressure off Tuesday night. Great to have players now that are returning. You know, Bowerman, I think, is getting up to full speed. Jason's got through 90. Blair's done sort of 60, 70, look very dangerous. Um, so, yeah, there, there is the element of there's players back in the building. I mean, let's not forget, Tony Craig missed yeah. eight weeks. Something like that. So, we've got players back on the pitch. Dan Pybus is back out there. Um, and we've got good players in the squad. Gives us something to build on. But we have got a lot of work to do, Tom. A lot of work. Yeah. Well, good luck today, Tuesday, Mark. Thank you for your time. Cheers to the fans and uh, my father-in-law. Three wins and a clean sheet. There you go, mate. That's it. <laughs> Cheers, mate.